Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, I'm going to call this Don't Be a Prisoner of the Past. Let's go deeper into this. I know the past hurts. The past is very disappointing, especially when it comes to people and places and things, even if it comes even when it comes down to our own parents and even family members. There's a lot of disappointments, there's a lot of hurt, and there's a lot of pain. Yes. But we can't be a victim of the past. The past is dead. We must move forward. We must repent, fast, repent, bloodline cleanse. So the past won't haunt us. If the past is anything, it's a teacher. We learn from it and move on. Stop looking back. We are not Lot's wife's predecessor. Remember what happened to her. We do not want that for ourselves. That is Father telling us that once you keep looking at the past, you get stuck there. And Father cannot work his wonders through you if you get stuck there. Father can only work his wonders through the present and through the future. And on the living, the past is dead. Learn from it. Never be consumed by it. For good, things have happened in the past, good. It's a good memory, but it's still a dead memory. Bad things happened in the past, we learn from it. That is also a memory, and it's also a dead memory. Things that are dead, we never carry because we're too busy living in the life in the present now and in the future, which is far more of a responsibility than anything else that was in the past. I know it still hurts, but it doesn't have to. You can decide. And you could choose to let it go. Let it go. And let it be buried. In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of David, may the Holy Spirit come forth and neutralize all pains of the past. May it no longer hurt or hinder us. May all those jokes be broken forever. For I have repented. We have repented. I have fasted, we have fasted. I have bloodline cleanse, you have bloodline cleanse. I have broken altars, I have broken demonic altars, you have broken demonic altars, or at least I hope all of you did. So now the past can no longer hinder me. It can no longer follow me, for it is no more. For it is gone forever and it has ended and to every end there is a new beginning and the beginning is with father establishing his kingdom to expand his kingdom and to receive his divine instructions in the name of the blood of jesus christ son of david amen we must always fast we must always be obedient. We must always bloodline cleanse. And we must always and forever repent. In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of David, Amen.